Hi, I'm Ashish and I'm going to show you a little bit about how to connect your account to Stripe so that you can get paid very quickly and easily and save you a bunch of time. I'm doing this in a test environment so that I can show you all the steps. So occasionally you'll see some things that won't 100% match what you'll see, some references to tests and things like that, but that's just to make sure that I can show you the whole, the whole process. So with that, I'm going to hit connect, which would be in your settings at the bottom of the first page. You'll see you're actually going to be filling out a process through Stripe, but anytime if you need to go back to Monograph, you can go right here. The first step is pretty straightforward. Let us know where your business is located. Just takes a little second on um, this test environment okay so here's a example where i'm where i'm gonna have a test but you would have seen um, an email um, that you need to fill put in first and that's the person that's going to receive some of your notifications from stripe as well as a phone number so they can verify your account i'm just going to use a test number here and then that will send you a code this is to verify your identity we want to make sure that this is a very secure process Stripe powers a lot, a large number of customers, including companies like Amazon. So security is really important. Then you're going to choose your type of business. It could be an individual, most likely you are a company. And then within that, the business structure that you have, I'm just going to choose one of these, but you would know which one you are. Oh, I did not click it. That's why. Okay, great. Then you're going to put in your legal business name. In my case, this is a fake company that I've created. I don't have any IN, but that's fine. Business address 555 Main Street. And a phone number. Okay. Then you're just going to be asked to validate your details. Again, this should be the main person that is authorized to be connected to Stripe. and information about your ownership. And then this is the know your business information that we need to have. You can add business owners or continue without. And then finally, you're going to input your account if you want to make it really fast, you can use debit card or pick a bank account. What you'll see down here, these are because this is a test, but you can connect directly through by logging into your bank instead of doing the kind of the other processes like where you do micro deposits. This is an example of, I'm going to choose one of the bank institutions. This is a test. This is a, if you had a Chase account or whatever then you would basically choose that and verify that this all looks good. You can save that information at the end. So this is really if you want to, once you want to make it a little easier for you to get back into Stripe, that's basically what that's for. And then you are done. So now this is a test account, so it's showing a bunch of accounts that you're linked to. Choose the appropriate one. And then you're pretty much done. So you just make sure everything that you put in was correct. I think in my case, I hadn't put in the owner. So that's why I think it's incomplete. And you are done. And you should be back into Monograph and you'll see that you're connected right here. So that's step one. Um, now that's in place, you can start sending out invoices to your clients requesting electronic payment. Once you get a certain amount of volume, they might ask you for a few additional questions, but that will all get emailed to you.